On today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this. Hey Siri, how's my tank doing? Running your shortcut. Shortcut says alkalinity is 7.42 dK, H and temperature is 24.12 degrees. Okay. Thanks Siri. All right, so how did we set that up? Um, basically, there are three things you need. Um, well, the three things I needed for this instance was uh, first one is a um, Apple device, like a phone. Um, it's probably gonna be easier because otherwise you're gonna be at your computer, you might as well just log in. So a phone, Apple phone, um, a KH Guardian, um, which I'm using for the alkalinity reading, and uh, one of these uh, Southern Aquatic Creation uh, temperature probes, a little uh, internet of things, um, Wi-Fi temperature monitor. Um, that uh, a good friend of mine, Shane, makes, and uh, I've been lucky enough to get one of the beta units. Now, let's walk through what you have to do to set these things up. Um, first thing you really need to do is get a bit of a handle on the new iOS 12 shortcuts. It's an app that was purchased um, by Apple. It was originally called Workflow. It allows you to um, get uh, the, your phone to integrate with different um, applications or different things on the internet, um, all through voice commands. So I recommend I can put the link to a couple of shortcuts in the, um, in, in the comments. Um, for some videos or some reading material on how to get your head around shortcuts, but I'll walk through it all how I set mine up later anyway. Um, second thing you need to do is to set up your KH Guardian. Um, recently, while trawling through the uh, manual and uh, talking to the creator, Dr. Bridge, um, I came across the fact that they have this little um, external access um, key, which allows you to pull data from the KH Guardian without logging in through the web portal. You can just do a little um, HTTP request um, with a special authentication token and it brings back your latest information. And thirdly, pretty much the same thing with the um, temperature probe. Um, it does a little HTTP request, you ping it some information and it sends you back some data. So without further ado, let's get into how we build this uh, workflow and um, yeah, feel free to shout out any questions down below. All right, welcome to my iPhone. Um, give you a quick demonstration of um, what it is I've got. I'm gonna to have to be mindful um, that you can't actually see where my finger's pressing on the screen, but um, basically over here on the right-hand side, I have a folder called Productivity, and uh, in there is the app called Shortcuts, which is on um, the new iOS 12 app, which is where we build um, all the magic. All right, so in here, you can see I've got a number of shortcuts, um, some things that can work out, um, tank parameters, um, some shortcuts that set my phone to um, flight mode, um, take it off flight mode, count how many days to my birthday, work out what the discount is if something's a bizarre percentage off, etc., etc. Basically, within here, there are three um, shortcuts we need to be aware of. Um, the top two here, which are uh, tank elk and uh, display tank temperature. They're the two that do most of the work. And then down the bottom left here, I have main tank parameters. That's the one that just basically pulls in the two values from those and puts it into one little notification. So uh, without further ado, let's start off with tank elk. So if I click on the little three dots next to that, I can go into the workings of that. All right, so the first thing we have to do with uh, tank elk is uh, work out your URL, but essentially, um, you put in your URL, so that could be your IP address, or if you've set up um, port forwarding, um, your KH Guardian's address and port, you just put a slash EDAC um, after that. That just tells your KH Guardian that you're doing this request for data. Um, and then following that URL, so basically this workflow goes to that URL. This next step here, get contents of URL, that basically pulls back any of the data um, that uh, we want to use from there. So. Um, it normally looks like that. If you click on advanced, you get these other options. We want to have the method at post, uh, basically because we're pushing something into it. Um, we're pushing in this EAPK, which is your um, external access primary key. Um, so you want to have method at post. Um, you don't need any headers. Um, request body. Um, we want to make sure that's set to form. And uh, don't worry about this elk one, I'll delete that. The only uh, request body we need to pass in is the EAPK which um, here I've just set to your EAPK just because I don't want you to be able to see mine. Same with the uh, URL because I don't want everyone in the world pinging my um, KH Guardian. But uh, if you go to, um, and I'll show you on screen now, if you go to uh, the system settings in your KH Guardian, you'll see what that is. I think by default it's set to Dr. Bridge. You can change it so other people can't ping yours. Right, now, 
so those two steps there, that's basically all you really need to get a stream of data from your KH Guardian. Unfortunately, that sends back this string um, with these little open brackets in it um, and has all sorts of other values that we're not going to use at this stage regarding what time it is, how long until the next test, uh, what the current pH of the sensor is, etc., etc. So all I've done here is um, I've done a replace text. Uh, so I've looked for that open bracket. And even though it says replace with world, that's just an example. It's actually nothing there. So I've replaced that open bracket with nothing. Then I've replaced the closed bracket with nothing. Then I've used this handy little thing called split text. Um, and whenever it's picked up a space, you can change that to other things. You can make it a new line. You can say every character is a new, a new item. I've just gone for spaces. Whenever it sees a space, it creates a new item. And then uh, all I've done with those items is I've put them into a list with this get item from list and I've told it to grab number eight. Um, no surprise here, number eight um, in that list is our alkalinity. So essentially all it does, I'll just do a quick overview. It goes to this URL, which is my KH Guardian with the um, EDAC command on the end. It posts in my EAPK, the uh, primary key, basically the authentication token. It brings back, well, that's getting the content, so it posts that in, posts in the authentication token, brings back text, strips out the open brackets, strips out the closed brackets, separates it by spaces, grabs number eight, and that's our alkalinity. Easy as that. Right, display tank temperature. This one works really pretty much the same. Um, it's, if anything, it's possibly a little bit easier um, in some ways, a little bit harder in others. We give um, the workflow a URL. I'm not gonna expand that because it has the rest of my um, authentication token in there because I didn't strip it out in this example. Um, but basically just go to blinkcloud.com, put in your authentication token, which you get from um, the Blink app itself. We do a uh, get contents of URL. This time we're doing a get, not a um, post because we don't need to put an authentication token in. That's part of the URL. Um, I've been a little bit lazy here because uh, that uh, get contents of URL brings back a swarm of data like pages and pages. So I said grab everything, um, split them into um, get item from list again, split them into um, items um, and grab me value 13. And then even within that, the blink um, uh, ping of data that comes back has nested data. So I've split it into groups, I've grabbed group 13, and then within group 13, I've looked for the keyword value, um, the word or the, the value after the word value, that's such a tongue twister, um, is our, our temperature. So it's basically temperature value. Um, finally, I've formatted that to two decimal places just because it comes in as three and you know, Siri sounds like a robot enough without her reading at 24.0192. It's just ridiculous. So two decimal places is fine. Right. That's the difficult part. Feel free to go back and um, read over that a few times if you um, if you need to, because yeah, I understand that took me a few hours to do when I've gone over it in about 90 seconds. Now, finally, we've got this uh, main tank parameters um, item here, which um, just basically puts it together. So in here, when I run this one, basically all I'd tell it to do is to run the shortcut display tank temperature, set the output of that to be the variable temp, then run the tank elk command, set the output of that to be elk, and then show me a result that says alkalinity is the elk um, value and temperature here is our temp value. That's all it is. Then uh, from here, um, you can set uh, what you want to name it, what icon you want to give it. Um, that one's kind of like a fish, so I went with that one. And then uh, finally, you can um, set a um, Siri phrase to that. So for this one, I've got, how's my tank doing? Which basically means when I ask um, Siri a question and I use that phrase, it'll then go run that shortcut, um, which will bring back my tank's alkalinity and temperature. So that pretty well wraps it up. That's all we have to do. Um, once it's all set up, it's kind of fairly modular. Um, but now, yeah, anywhere in the world, I can just ask um, Siri how my uh, tank's doing and uh, she'll tell me. Thanks for watching. Hey Siri, how's my tank doing? Running your shortcut. Shortcut says alkalinity is 7.42 dK, H and temperature is 24.12 degrees. Okay. Thanks, Siri.